Today we are in the city of Moreno Valley looking at this truck. In 2015, the 13, the person contacted me saying that he has problems with the uh, low air pressure. He's related to a low pressure in the air manifold. So uh, I decided to come. To continue the sequel of videos that I'm doing for my new series, so stay tuned on my channel because there is more more videos like this coming soon. If you want to know how to contact me, you can use Instagram. Make sure to follow me, just look for Francisco Amaya YouTube and I will be there. And then you can send me a message asking me about your problems and everything and I will let you know if I can come over and probably I can fix your problem. Um, so that's the way you're gonna do it so make sure to stay tuned there on Instagram that's where I'm going to be posting all the new stuff up to right now let's go and work on this truck let's check it out let's see what's wrong with this DD13 engine hey man hey, so you are the guy how you doing how you doing all right nice to meet you how's it going all right how you doing good so it's your truck yeah, this is it right here. Yeah. So what's going on here? The, uh, what was it? The code that I sent you? The, um, what was it? The span 2631? I think it was. Let me, get, let me get my phone. I can check it out right now if you want. I don't know. I had them hook it up to the computer, but I don't know if the code's still on there. I'll check it out and I'll pull, I pull, I pull the codes. You can still pull the, the old codes? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what is it you're doing? Uh, getting the codes or whatever is going on with this truck. Check it out. So you're scanning to see the problems? Yes. Good. It doesn't register anything about codes, about anything. There is no codes, there is nothing, right? Uh -huh. um, right now, what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is, um, I wanna check your uh, EGR, the pressure sensor. Okay. And see what's, how is it. And um, the pressure seems all right. But it could be some specific time, then it doesn't do anything. But um, if the EGR data pressure sensor doesn't do anything at all, any fix at all, mm -hmm. like if it has no blockage or something, right. that means then there is something else in between, then it's blocking the air. At this moment, there is no cause right now, so it's like kind of hard to know what it's going to be. But based on what you sent me the other day, uh -huh. I get then that is the situation going on right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, as I say, is then I'm going to uh, remove the ER delta pressure sensor, okay. inspect it, if it's necessary, clean it, and uh, put it back. Okay. That's what I can do because that's where uh, your problem goes. The problem of the 2631. Yeah. That's the problem. The yeah, is yeah. the code 2631. Yeah. Uh, that's how uh, that one goes. So uh, let me let me do that real quick and uh, and we go from there. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. All right. Great. All right. So if you look closely, this is the EGR data pressure sensor over right here. But on the 13 it's really hard to access. So I'm just gonna. Remove these bolts. And this other bolt. Now I can get it out. So uh, as he referring to, are you referring to my other video where I did the same, the same code? Yeah. So on that case, the problem was then um, 
then had a, yeah it, it was a blockage on the EGR, EGR tube so, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it was something blocking the flow, the flow right. yes in this case uh, it could be something similar or not similar but to start I want to do this and uh, And yeah, so I'm just gonna see how it is. So it's the EGR delta. It looks clean. See, it looks clean actually. The orange are fine. When I check with this, and the flashlight, and this one, this is is it just to make sure that the orifice is clean all the way in, because this one bends all over, because the orifice it is not straight, it goes like like kind of like with a, with a curve, so you need something that bends easily. Mate. <clears throat> So I can see the orifice all the way down, but yeah, I see that it looks like there is water. But anyway, I wanna like open it. I take this. Yeah, it's gone now. Stuck. Now it was all the way. We're in? Yeah. You're in, yeah. We're in for business. Doesn't look right. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. It was a little plug. It had like a little blockage in there. A little bit? Yeah, it, it had some kind of like carbon built in the in the EGR the temperature sensor. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I have the tools to open this just to make sure. Open this and check all the way in if I can see anything there. And if not in there, you're fine after this. So this is not because I know there's something wrong, this is just to make sure and everything is right. It is not because I know there's something wrong here. That's why, that's why mechanics, uh, people hate mechanics. I remove the bolts from the same place and you see they're all different bolts. <laughs> they're all different bolts. <laughs> bolts from another place. 
probably they remove all these and they realize and they've lost the bolt and now they were like oh we just need to find something He has some water, but it is not that much. Yeah, I can see the water over here. <laughs> That's water. No, but it's not too much. Very little. Yeah, it's fine. So, I guess pretty much that was whole, the whole problem. Then uh, the ER delta pressure sensor was a little, uh, it was uh, some obstruction on the ER delta pressure sensor. That was pretty much about it. Put some lubrication so it was in fusing. right now is to install the um, GR delta pressure sensor everything else is back on place so it's going to be easy there's only two bolts and the plug over here just make sure to install the orange very important uh, double check all these And that's it. <laughs> okay, so uh, to check this out on the DDL software, what we're gonna do is like go to instrumentation over here. And now you have to look for EGR over here, see EGR, and this screen will appear. And we have the lecture. This is the position of the EGR bar. 
this is how much is open right now and this is how much pressure is going through the EGR this is the EGR delta pressure sensor so it's all right um, yeah it closed EGR bar closed it went like minus zero it opened it went like one that's fine he opened more, he went higher. He went a little bit closer, he went to one. That means he's doing his function. It is working. So that's good. Uh, basically, that's what I believe. Uh, then uh, the pores were with too much carbon and it was not allowing to get that much uh, flow to the sensor and that was the reason why it was throwing that code the uh, 20, 2631 that's the low um, flow code for digital things but in this case that's all we um, we are uh, up to right now with the EGR delta pressure sensor problem so what is next over here it is just to drive it that's duty of the driver, of the owner of the truck. It is just to drive it and make sure that all the monitors are clean. The EGR the temperature sensor is still yellow, that means they're still working on that. But as soon as it gets green, um, it will uh, accept the repair and everything will work fine. And uh, there is no code out this anyway, so it's nothing too clear. So uh, that's pretty much what is up to right now so this case is dismissed <laughs> was a, a, there was a little blockage there so it's clean already uh -huh. um, and everything else is fine just make sure to replace the air filter air, air filter, filter causes problems like that too uh -huh. but it's, it, it was clearly there was obstruction on that on it was a, it was a big obstruction there so it didn't have nothing to do with the uh, the, the dpf filter or nothing. no that doesn't have anything to do, don't have anything to do. why someone told you about yeah, that yeah someone was like oh that's your dpf your uh your dpf filter is blocked or something like that no that's not that's <laughs> that's that's have nothing to do with it have nothing to do with it no nothing oh, oh, nothing okay. to do if you have lower pressure the computer detects and uh it needs to reduce the amount of power Okay. Yeah, that's all. But it has nothing to do with the DEF or anything. It is just bare engine. Just engine. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> all right. So there you have it. Um, that was this DD13. This is a 2014, I believe. No, no, 15. Uh, DD13. Super hard to work on them. Not recommended. But you have to do it. Very mechanic. You have to deal with this kind of situation. Anyway. Um, I was able to figure out the problem, thanks God, and um, hopefully next time it's going to be you. So just make sure to uh, follow me on Instagram and then you can contact me and then you, uh, you can uh, let me know what's your problem and probably I'll, I will go to you. I'm thinking to go to Arizona and, and Nevada, but if I go to Arizona and Nevada, I need to go for more than one person, so probably one day I have to I, I, I can be able to like have more than one truck together like maybe two three trucks and then I can just like have you all and help all at the same time but anyway uh, up today this is all um, luckily the truck is fixed and uh, it's ready to work uh, hopefully it doesn't the problem doesn't come back if it come back we'll check it out again see what's going on but anyway up to date is all so uh, as i said before just make sure to um, follow me on instagram francisco amaya youtube just look for it and you're gonna find me there um, make sure to subscribe to my channel because it's very important all this new content that is coming is very important and very helpful for all of you so subscribing that means then you are gonna be uh, tuned for the new doing videos coming soon so and um, that's uh, pretty much all make sure to like it and uh, uh, see you in the next video